Hello and welcome to this session on Git and GitHub. This is the second session and today we will start with installing Git and adding our files and folder to track the changes. So uh, today we are going to learn how do we download and install Git. We will also create a free account on GitHub. We will add a folder and a file to Git to track the changes and then we will add our repository to GitHub. So let us begin and let us see step number one is we have to check if git is already installed so uh, because i am on mac i will go to my terminal and in case you are on windows i will have a separate session on uh, getting started with git and github on windows on this session i will install and start with git on a mac so what you have to do is we have to go to your terminal and say git space hyphen hyphen version okay now in my case because git is already installed i am getting this git version in case it is not installed you will uh, get something like command not found so let us assume git is not installed on your system and you are getting command not found so what you have to do is so let me just write down you have to go to terminal and you have to say git space hyphen hyphen version uh, please note there is no space here it is double hyphen I have to give uh, a space because it is not taking it merges the two dashes so it is git space hyphen hyphen version now step number two is download and install git so what we are going to do is go to google and say git the very first site that you will get is gitscm.com go here and here you can find download git so you can download it from here and if the download does not start you can click here to download it manually okay so in my case it is already downloaded so i will just go to uh, my folder and see where is my git installed so in my downloads I can see yes this is the file that got downloaded you will double click here and you will uh, do the installation so as you do installation of any other software it will guide you you can just click continue and uh, you can install it right I am uh, cancelling it right now because I already have it installed once you have installed it you should uh, go to your terminal again you can create a fresh session of the terminal and again you will say git space hyphen hyphen version and this time you should be getting the version of git that is installed on your system as of now my version is 2.10 okay so this should install uh, git on your system okay uh, the third step should be I'll, I'll just copy this site as well so that you can see from here okay now step number three will be sign up and create a free account on github we can do this later as well but uh, because we want to add our username and our email to git we will first create an account on github so again you can go to uh, github this is the site for github github.com okay and uh, let me sign out you can go to sign up and here you can create your account you will give your username email password and you can create a free account okay so once you have created the account you can sign into your account okay so this is my account right so you just have to create an account and on github so once you have uh, downloaded installed git and you have already created an account on github now we can start with git on our system right so let us say the step number four will be add your github 
email and username to git so what does this mean is uh, you just have to do this go to a terminal and you have to run these two commands git config global user dot email and whatever email you used to sign up on github and then git config global user dot name whatever username you used right so you will just go to your uh, terminal and you will give these two commands okay so in my case I will say automation.qa.scl at gmail.com and the username that I have used on github is this one so just you have to run these two commands the reason we want to add our email and our username is because whenever we commit any changes from this system uh, this will already know that this is the user who is committing these changes and in your github repository all the changes and commits will will be shown by this particular name whatever username you are using right so that is why we add our email and username okay now when we have added it let us uh, start adding our files and folders so step number five will be add file or folders to git and this is we are doing it for tracking the changes so now the actual work of git starts right so let us do one thing uh, let me go to let us create a folder and file that we want to track so I'm going to tools on my desktop I have a git folder and let me hide the sidebar and here I will create a new folder and let me name it my folder okay and what we have to do is I want to track all the changes and I want to add all the contents of this particular folder to git what I will do is I will go to my terminal and first I will uh, go to the location of this folder so I will go to this lo this folder is located at desktop tools git my folder okay so let me go inside it now I have gone inside this folder on my terminal so the very first thing that I have to do is I will also write it down here so step 6 is our now our actual commands of git are starting so I will give it as the name as command and the very first thing we have to do is on the terminal go to the location of the folder or it can be a project in case you are, you want to add the source code you will go to the uh, location of the project and then you will say git init right so as soon as I will say git init you can see initialized empty git repository in this particular location so what it has done is it has uh, added a hidden folder by the name dot git and we cannot see it because we are not able to see the hidden files and folders as of now so in case you want to see that folder in Mac you have to run this command defaults write and the rest of the thing yes and when you want to uh, hide the folders then you will say no here as of now I want to say yes and run this 
then I will press option and command key on my keyboard and right click on finder and click relaunch okay so now you can see this hidden folder dot git on this on this particular folder that we have added right now the second command is git status okay now this is a very handy command and you can let me type git status now and you can say nothing to commit because we have not added anything right let us add some file here so let me say touch uh, test1.txt so you can see I have added a file here okay now if I say git status it is showing me that there are some untracked files okay so now because git is tracking this folder whatever changes or additions you make in this folder uh, will be seen by git and because we have not added this file for tracking it is it is showing us that this file is added but it is not being tracked and to track we have to use git add okay so the next command that we have to do is git add so what i will do is I will say git add and the file name now again let us go to git status and see what is the status now and now you can see this is in green right so this is now being tracked but still it is not committed so the next thing that we have to do is commit it right so the next thing we will do is git commit okay and we also give a message while committing that this message will be shown in the repository when we commit it so we will say minus m and whatever message we, we want to give okay so here I will say git commit minus m and I can say edit test1.txt now you can see git status and now everything is clean nothing to commit okay now let us do one thing let us make some changes in this file and let me say this is change one okay i made some changes and let us also create a new file so i will say touch index.html so you see I have made some changes in this file which is already being tracked by git and I have all also added a new file called index.html now let us do git status and see what is the status now now you can see it is showing us that there are two changes one is the modification in the file which is already being tracked and then there is addition of a new file which is not being tracked okay now we have to add it right so we can say git add now suppose you have multiple files or changes that you have not added what you can do is in git add you can also use uh, wildcard characters for example you can say star.txt so that all the files with extension txt will get added you can do star dot star everything will get added or you can do git add dot which will add everything within that particular project or folder so i'm doing git add and now let me do git status and you can see both these files are ready to be committed okay so now i can say git commit minus m and i have added index.html and i have modified test1.txt okay let us do git status and everything is clean okay so till now we have learned how can we add our project or a folder or a file to git for tracking how can we do the changes add the changes and then commit it right now we want to create a remote repository and add all our project and 
files and folders to the remote repository okay so now we will create a remote repository on github so sign into your github account and here you can go to new repository okay click here you can give some name let me give repo1 and let it be public and create a repository and here you have got the location of this repository you can copy it from here and then here you will say on your terminal you will say git remote add origin and paste the location of the repository okay and click enter so now this is being added but still if you go to your uh, repository and see you will not find anything here because we have still not pushed the changes so we have to push it right so let me also add this here the next command is git remote add origin and the location of remote repository okay but now we will push the changes to the remote repository so we will say git push minus u origin master so master is the main branch and by default this is the this is the will go to the master branch so i will say this and press enter and now you can see something is getting added right all this things are getting added to the remote repository and it is 100% complete so let me also write here git push minus u origin master okay now if you go to your repository and refresh it you should see all the changes and all the additions so we added index.html test1.txt everything has come here and the last uh, additions or commit will be shown up and see now it is showing this username right this is showing because in the initial steps we added our email and github username to our git so uh, that was the reason we added it right so now whatever changes you do will be pushed here and tracked here okay so this is how we can uh, add our repository to the remote okay then there are some other commands like you can say uh, git log this will show you the log of whatever you have done so i have added index.html and i have added test.txt this will show that you can do git space hyphen hyphen help and this will show you all the options you have for github okay so for uh, for branching checkout then for collaborate you have pull push and fetch so we will see all these options in our next session okay so i hope uh, we were uh, able to create a git repository we added a git git to our system and then we also added a project or folder or files to tracking and pushed it to github okay so hope you like it keep learning in our next session we will learn more commands of git thank you for watching